Estelle, just give us an idea of what the what the exhibition and what his paintings look like. So um, Guston created these images of Klu, Ku Klux Klan uh, characters and predominantly uh, they're wearing the uh, white hoods that we all recognise. Um, but these hood wearing figures um, really aren't painted by Guston other than to be supportive and against racial um, discrimination. Um, he was an opponent of racial discrimination. Um, he viewed his work as being critical of any sort of racism, of xenophobia, of anti-Semitism, of any of the American-led war efforts. And I think it's it's a shame really in, in you know when he described his works these particular works as self-portraits he said i'm trying to understand the nature of evil and i'm trying to understand what it would be like living with the clan he wasn't glorifying them and it was the subject of so much controversy that they decided to postpone at the exhibition, which is why it's now opening in October. There's been quite a lot of debate, hasn't there, Estelle, about sort of the context that needs to be provided around at these pieces. Do we know what that might look like if there's going to be anything? Yes. Um, um, you know, it's it's interesting, Rosie, because when you think about it, the... the, the um, He's most well remembered for the KKK images, but he also did some some wonderful um, abstract expressionist pieces of, of gardens and ruins when he, when he went to Italy. But um, even though these these images might shock the art world, he's there to disrupt what painting could be. He's there to hold up a mirror um, to all of us, really, to 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 expose. Um, the banality of of evils of life um, that we're still struggling with with today, and hopefully, his images, which, which span a huge fifty year career, will be able to show his concerns and how he met them through a dialogue with paint. It's clearly been really controversial. Do you think we're going to see sort of echoes of that again when they open their doors in October? Um, I, I would suggest that that we that we would yes because you know they say the pen is mightier than the sword but actually the paintbrush is mightier than the sword and when he pushes boundaries about what painting is what the subject matter can or should be I, I think um, he and other artists would be rolling in in their grave when when we think that real really the 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 danger or the risk isn't in looking at his work, it's in not looking at his work because they offer us insight into ourselves and into um, the experiences of, of uh, tragedy and um, social injustice that happens worldwide, persecution. Um, all the answers are there really. And, and he, he makes us look at ourselves and uh, he will influence us, us influence us that way as we struggle in in this world which is you know with George Floyd and and hashtag BLM um he's not interrogating the KKK he's interrogating himself the establishment me and you Rosie and everybody else to, to really question and reject what is wrong with the world